Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, we will discuss about golden taste in Flutter. So, if you are a Flutter developer, you probably enjoy putting together the piece of your ape visual puzzle by using widgets. Unlike testing the logic of your code, which is pretty straightforward, but testing how your ape look can be a bit tricky. So, it's easy to test if math function works, but figuring out if your one screen of button R and text look right is a different story. So as you know, all the basic pattern of writing test is that you call the code that you want to test, then run some more code to verify that the original code did what you expected. So as you look in this screen, how it might look in dot. So, as we see, that work great for a lot of operations, this thing, but how can we programmatically test the visual appearance of UI element? This brings us to the first tool many developer reaches. This is a golden test. So now, here, golden test comes in. They are like a special test for how your ape look. Instead of just checking if the code works. So golden text take a picture of your ape screen and compare it to the reference picture. This reference picture called golden files. These are like a snapshot of what your ape should look like. They are created by double checking that everything look good in your app. So, golden test not only make sure your app function correctly, but also that it look the way is supposed to do. So, it's like a having of visual safety net for your app user interface. So, in a simple word, golden test are a pattern where Flutter caged image file for part of a UI, then later re-render those UI elements and compare them against caged image as a testing pixel by pixel. Okay, so I'm just created a simple counter app application. You already aware about it. So in this application, I already have counter.png, which is quite similar to our counter application that I started from Flutter app. So let's just run this into Chrome browser. Uh, let's take some time. Uh, basically in this app, we are just performing golden widget testing and uh, we also comparing with our counter.png image with our this counter application. So, let's just comparing those after it. So, as you see, my application is run properly. So, as you see in there, counter button, floating action button and uh, number is also increased. So, let's just see this, our, our test case. So, I'm just creating my golden widget test. So, this is golden underscore widget underscore test underscore test is basically describing this is our test case so i'm just creating this file and uh, importing our first filter test yeah filter test and uh, also golden test we are performing by min dot dot so golden test with min dot dot yes so let's write our first test case so starting from the void main function so let's just creating this and uh, okay so just starting our widget test so basically widget uh, golden test is also already inside of widget test cases so i'm just uh, writing those thing properly uh, some minor things okay okay uh one thing is missing uh yeah okay okay it's widget test uh 
something is missing uh, okay it's asynchronous thing in performing okay so i'm just uh, heading this keyword async okay let's start our test case so i'm just uh, creating a wait tester dot uh, yeah so pump widget basically by this pump widget we initialize our rendering of any particular ui so i am just uh, performing our main dot dot my app so my app is basically inside of my main dot dot and uh, then i'm just expecting any file to my main dot dot so there is two things expect and measure so i'm just uh, expecting this is my my app and uh, i'm just uh, matching this into my counter dot png image so i'm just uh, matched a golden file basically that's keyword to perform golden test comparison so counter dot png so it's a normal test case and uh, from the starting uh, i think it's properly run because uh, color is already simple and uh, all things are similar with our golden test widget so i think it's properly run because all things are similar to counter dot png image so as you already see uh, action button is also there so as you see already properly run but let's just uh, see our fail case so i'm just uh, changing my color to red in floating action button i think now it's fail uh, just initializing okay now it's fail okay let's see why it golden test is failed now at this time so as you see four files are generated and uh, one file counter dot isolated different there is floating action button is differ uh, there is cyan or maybe we can say aqua color just showing which is changed by our image so counter test image is our main dot dot class basically our my class and uh, counter my master image is our counter dot png defines so basically they are just denoting our image is quite different with what ex i expect so i am just uh, correcting those and then run let's see it's properly run i think so because we also completed properly so now it's properly run so as you see uh whenever we run our golden test file so if anything is changed maybe it's a color or anything else it's not similar to our image so our test case will be fail and uh, also there is failure condition is also generated and inside of failure condition four file are basically which is isolated differ mask differ master image and test image so test image is basically defined which is our ui basically what exactly we develop master image is basically defined which we need to be expect basically it define what we need to be comparing or what exactly we need to be developing and uh, masked image is basically defined to our comparison image which is particularly differ because as tower ui or floating action button is differ and isolated differ is particularly focusing on those widget which is differ to our uh, comparison image so as we see that golden test are useful for ensuring your widget have the expected appearance they don't have to cover the entire screen you have to create them for specific ui elements so if you modify your ui later on remember to generate new images for your golden test so in conclusion flutter utilize golden test to detect regression and tree rendering issues if you are new to golden test so consider their benefits
but if you are already using them so be mindful of certain factors so just keep in mind that golden test continuously generate images file so voicing storage challenges in there so while storing them in git repository is an optional it's a not ideal for a project where numerous test files are multiple golden files are generated so in there false positive can also be arise due to minor pixel difference in your ui changes so just keep in mind and uh, just add up this into a git ignore if you want so as lastly acknowledge that golden tests are more efficient for verifying component that entire screen so just testing a single button such as we used above example in floating action button so with this golden test pro more reliable than testing an entire screen with that button you can also just using this as you are testing for widget testing so golden test is also just above the widget testing if you want to add them in your test cases so in a summary golden test in flutter offer valuable insights but require careful consideration of storage and potential false positive and also it gives you more enhancement of your ui comparison because multiple times you just uh, wanted to compare your ui element with exact what your designer gives you so in this case golden test gives you more insights and uh, you got lot more insight what exactly you want to develop so that's all about my information on this topic so if you enjoy this video give it thumbs up and hit subscribe button your support means a lot so stay tuned for more videos and thank you for being here have a good day